Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> I'm Steve from Your Creation Station, and um, today we are going to be reading Giraffes Can't Dance. Now, this is part of the story time series that we do at Your Creation Station. Uh, we come in and you get a piece of pottery uh, to paint. For this particular story, we painted these giraffes. Uh, they're usually little smaller figurines, but this one happened to be a bank. Um, so this was, a, this was a nice <clears throat> nice piece of pottery here to paint. So, um, so anyway, uh, this is one that we did in the studio before um, before everything was closed down and we had to do things live. Uh, but I'm going back and I want to read some of these stories and post them up on YouTube and uh, maybe we're going to do some sort of a promotion with them. But um, in any case, uh, here are here is without further ado, Giraffes Can't Dance um, by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Reese. Now, I think this is my first time actually reading this book, um, but I was around, I was here when, when Christine read it in the studio. So we're going to start with Giraffes Can't Dance. Ironically, it starts with three monkeys huh. <laughs> and a couple of warthogs. And it looks like there's some, um, some beetles and some ants. Huh. To my cousin at Sandbanks, Giles, for Fee, John, Rod, and Andy Guy. All right. Oh, a guy. So each one. Okay. I get it. <clears throat> giraffes can't dance. All right. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. <laughs> Here he is, falling right on his face. Maybe he tripped over that turtle. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. Huh. It looks like they're having a good time here. Here's the jungle dance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a good dancer either. <clears throat> the, wart hard, <laughs> the warthogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and roll. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. How about that? The chimps did a cha-cha. And a very with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Hmm. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming, and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald! The giraffes all sneered, or the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Look at them all laughing at Gerald. Hmm. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. Oh, poor Gerald. So he crept off from the dance floor, and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Look at him walking away. He's slunking. <laughs> Look at all the other ones, they're having a conga line. Then he found the little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed the cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Hmm. I wonder if that's Jiminy's cousin. He sounds kind of smart. <clears throat> listen to the swaying trees and listen, oh, sorry. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. 
So imagine that the lovely moon is playing for just you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. Hmm. Very Taoish. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hoofs had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing round. Uh, looks like Gerald's getting it together here. <gasps> he threw his legs out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. He did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Look at that. If he was a cow, he'd be going over the moon. Oh, look how happy he is. Oh my God, he may be going over the moon. Look at all the critters down there. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was wide open. I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Oh, he is higher than the bat and the owl. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been at the dance arri arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched them, quite entranced. <laughs> He's doing the boogie. See that? He's got his boogie finger out. They shouted, it's a miracle. He must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever seen. Ever, ever seen. Oh, man. Check that out. Look. That monkey's confused. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. <laughs> They're throwing roses at him and flowers. Man. They're so surprised. These guys can't believe it. <laughs> then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. Hmm. Man, isn't that for sure? Very good. All right. That was a good book. I like that one. I think I'm going to read it again and maybe put on some Ray Charles. Um, all right. That's it. We'll see you again. Thanks.